Okay, in this short video I'd like to demonstrate how to create toolbars uh, in the Dolphin Smalltalk View Composer. So we have the View Composer open here. Let's create a new shell view and let us put in a toolbar from the toolbox. Go to the toolbar category and choose toolbar.toolbar. .toolbar. All the other items are actually predefined toolbars which are used by the development system so they're probably not much use for you as part of your application. I drag toolbar across uh, and normally the way I align it is using a, um, a layout manager. So in the shell view choose um, layout manager and I pick border layout and then we set the arrangement of the toolbar to be north and the toolbar flips to the north side of the window. Um, in order to add toolbar buttons and other items we go to the items aspect of the toolbar, double click that and select a number of new items. I'm going to choose a toolbar button. In fact, let's add several toolbar buttons. Uh, let's add a separator and let us add a toolbar icon button. Now the difference between toolbar buttons and the toolbar icon buttons is that the toolbar button is the original standard Windows way of um, managing toolbars which uses a grid of uh, a bitmap grid of images and the toolbar icon button is uh, the dolphin the, the newer dolphin way which uses PNG images for each button a separate PNG image for each button I'll show you how to set those up so we accept that aspect and you'll see we've got our three buttons here and a separator now these first two buttons which are the standard windows way of setting up a toolbar You'll, if we um, just resize our window slightly and let's take a look at the um, the toolbar button and you'll see it has a bitmap a bit, a bitmap aspect which if we open it up we can find we can set the bitmap aspect let's go here and you'll see that the, the bitmaps that they can use are basically a grid of buttons which must be the, si the same size as the toolbar itself. You, you must define it to be the same size as the toolbar. So our, our current toolbar is, uh, is using 16 by 16 buttons. So we can use any uh, bitmap which has a grid of 16 by 16 images. So let's choose this one here and then you have to specify the bitmap index inside that bitmap that you want to use. So if we just go back to that again you'll see that uh, let's, let's use um, the first and the second images. So we'll specify a bitmap index of 0 which gives us the left arrow and then if we wanted to do the same thing for the second button we'd have to go and set the bitmap again here the bitmaps are shared in memory so it doesn't matter about using the same one twice and let's set this index here to be 1 okay so that's how you act, how you install the images for the standard toolbar button um, when you want to specify the command you uh, expand the command description aspect and you can then choose um, the command that gets sent to the window so for example here we could send left and in the second one we could send right. Similarly we can specify tooltips here to be used when the um, uh, when the mouse hovers over the button. Now that's all very well but these are slightly inflexible these toolbar buttons because if you change the size of the toolbar you'll have to put, provide a different bitmap um, a more flexible way of um, handling buttons is to use PNG images, a separate one for each button. So let's go and have a look at that last button that we added, which is the toolbar icon button. And if we go into the command description, 
you'll see it has an image aspect uh, which is currently set to the, um, the standard object icon. Um, you can use any icon here um, but PNG which is a particularly convenient. So if we go here and let's select a different image and I have 48 by 48 uh, PNG image here, so let's choose that and you'll see that's installed that in that button and similarly we can specify the, um, um, the command same way we did before for example um, now the good thing about the uh, if we just test this out you'll see that indeed the toolbar does work as we might expect so the good thing about the um, icon uh, toolbar icon buttons is if we come to choose to change the size of the toolbar then they will actually be this will actually handle this all, all right now the way you change the size of a toolbar is to specify the button size so let's go here and specify a button size of 64 by 64 a rather large toolbar okay you'll see that now the um, toolbar has resized but we don't yet see the, um, the, image, the image size has increased because the bitmap size is still set at 16 by 16 so let's change that to 48 by 48 and now you see that the um, icon, uh, the toolbar icon button has actually correctly resized but the first two buttons have not because they are um, uh, expecting the, bit, the bitmap is expecting it to be used as a 16 by 16 image so um, we would have to actually specify an appropriate 48 pixel high um, grid there so let's let's remove those two buttons so we can remove that one and that one and we can put that one before the separator okay so that's uh, a quick introduction to how to set up a, um, a toolbar inside Dolphin Smalltalk. I hope it's been useful for you.